What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get custom transition animations on your Nexus 5. This will require that you're rooted with a custom recovery installed, but you can take care of that in almost no time if you follow the guides I have for you in the full tutorial, and that's available at the link in the description below this video. There are actually a few different sets of animations that you can choose from, and I've got some quick demo videos that you can check out in the full tutorial as well. The animations have been ported from various sources by developer ENG.STK, and they're designed to work on the Nexus 5 stock firmware, as well as a few other custom ROMs. So head to the full tutorial and grab the flashable zip for the set of animations that you like the most. After that, just boot into TWRP Recovery to install the zip you chose. These zip files are actually intended to be flashed with TWRP Recovery only, so don't try this if you have Clockwork Mod or Phil's Touch. So with that disclaimer out of the way, just tap the Install button on TWRP's home screen, then navigate to your Download folder to locate the zip that you just downloaded. Tap it, then swipe the slider at the bottom to confirm installation. When that's finished, just hit Reboot System, and your animations will be in effect when you get back up. Okay, so back in Android, you can already see the transition animations in place. Again, this is just one of the options that are available, but it's the one that I liked best. If you'll notice, these animations are a lot more grandiose than the stock animations, so they take a bit longer to complete. So if you'd like to speed up the new animations, there's an easy way. Just head to Settings, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and tap About Phone. From here, tap the Build Number entry seven times to activate Developer Options. Then head back out one level and dip into the new Developer Options entry. And here there are two options that you can change to make the animations a bit snappier. First is Window Animation Scale. Set this to something lower than 1x to get speedier animations. I've found that 0.75x is a pretty good value. Then do the same thing for Transition Animation Scale. Now the transition animations are a lot quicker to complete, and I think it looks even better this way. But if you ever want to go back to the stock animations, the zip that applied these custom animations actually backed up your old ones. The process of restoring the old animations is outlined at the bottom of the full tutorial over on GadgetHacks.com, so be sure to check that out. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!